Hey, and welcome back, YouTubers. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been playing around with these Tesla candles, which are really fun to make. And when they work right, they work really well. I actually made two of them. They're pretty identical, because I want to use this to set up a stereo music system uh, using these Tesla candles as the sound source. Let me just tell you a little bit about how this works. This is a class E resonator, which is basically an electrical engineering term for an oscillator. And I'm gonna post a link to that circuit when we're done with the video and also in the description. You've got an L2 coil, which is the primary coil. And here's your secondary coil. And this is 135 turns of wire. And you can't use PVC because it melts. So this is actually ceramic, in this case, alumina. So that's your whole setup. You need a, a medium-sized heat sink, and I have a heat sink here that's dipping into a tub of water to remove the heat from the fins. If it's tuned well, though, the transistor will not make a lot of heat. Now let's go into the power source. So I have a variac, which can go to 130 volts, and then this is stepped down by 50%, so I don't stress the variac too much. If you use a step-down transformer, you put less current through the variac. Then the AC that comes out of this step-down transformer is then rectified through this rectifier. This is a full bridge rectifier right here. And it's then smoothed with these large capacitors. Now, to get our music, we're using a, a simple circuit, which consists of another MOSFET identical to the one used here, right here. And then the gate of the MOSFET is modulated according to the music signal so that the music, so that the, uh, the, the amount of power that goes into this Tesla call varies with the music signal. And the way that we connect the music input is through this capacitor. This is a 3.3 microfarad audio quality capacitor. Those are very good quality capacitors and work great with this. And, um, so your music goes right through here, into here, to the gate, which then switches this on and off, which then changes the amount of power which goes into this coil, which then will translate to varying intensity of the flame, which is a plasma flame that comes off this little screw here. And then you should hear that as sound. And we're gonna get our music signal from this laptop computer here which I've connected to the audio input, which then goes into this interrupter switch over here. So that's your basics. So there you go, the quality of the music, including the bass sound, is quite good. I didn't expect it to work that well. And the uh, transistor is barely even warm, and I think this water really helps to keep it cool. This is a 10K biasing uh, resistor, variable part. So uh, there you go, uh, music from an HF candle. So that plasma flame is intensely hot.
melts it really rapidly. Look at that. Here I have a piece of graphite foam pencil. It's evaporating it, it's not melting it, but it's evaporating the graphite. Really pretty good quality sound with a very simple interrupter system. Thanks for watching guys and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe.